everybody, this is Bedtime Stories by me, Mr. Emmett. Today we'll be reading Because Nothing Looks Like God, written by Lawrence Kushner and Karen Kushner, and illustrated by Don W. Majewski. Because Nothing Looks Like God. Where is God? God is in the beginning, in the first red ripening tomato, and in cookies fresh from the oven in the first fun day vacation, and in the tiny hands of a baby. Where is God? God is in the end, in the last sweet bite of birthday cake, and in your warm, tiny baby blanket, in the last wave goodbye at the end of a visit, and in the closing moments of someone's life. Where is God? God is in the way people come together, in the sharing of a cold and gloomy morning, and in the band-aid fix-up after a fall, in homemade gifts made of clay and paint, and in morning hugs and goodnight kisses. Where is God? God is in the world, in bird chirp, frog song, and chattering squirrels, and in the fly caught in the spider's web, in caterpillars chewing leaves from daisies, and in worms turning leaves into earth. Where is God? God is everywhere, if we only look. God is wherever we let God in. What does God look like? God looks like nothing, and nothing looks like God. But there are many things you cannot see, and still we are sure that they are there. like cool breezes on a hot summer night, or the rays of the sun drying puddles of rain, like the long hours until supper time, or the short minutes of the day at the beach. You know they are there, but there is nothing to see. Like the kindness in someone's voice, or the happiness in a song, like the pride when mom, and, mom or dad helps you in class, or the jumpy excitement at the start of a holiday. You know it's there, but there is nothing to see. Like the love your mom adds to your goodnight story, or your dad's hooray when you first tie your shoes. Like your hope when it's time your turn to bat, or your worry when your dogs and when your dog runs away. You know it's there, but there is nothing to see. God doesn't look like anything either, because there's nothing to see. But everyone and everything gives us clues that God is here. Clues that point to the one we cannot see. How does God make things happen? Look at your family. See sisters taking turns on the slide and brothers sharing a new game. Watch how everyone comes together to help with dinner. How does God make things happen? Look at your school. A boy helps when another can't reach. A girl shares her lunch. Watch how everyone shows, sh shows the swings to a new friend. How does God make things happen? Look at your town. One family gives money for people who lost their home. A neighborhood gathers books for children in the hospital. Watch how everyone helps a family with a new baby. How does God make things happen? Look in the mirror. Can you visit someone who feels lonely or pick up trash in the playground? Can you and your friends collect toys for children who have none? How does God make things happen? With little hands and big hands, with young hands and old, old hands, with your hands. And that's the end. We're going to say a little prayer. God in heaven, hear my prayer. Keep me in thy loving care. Be my guide in all I do. Bless all those who love me too. Amen. Good night, everybody.